Hello, hello everybody. Evan Abrams here, back for another week of video challenges here on Adobe Live. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you're here to enjoy something challenging. Challenging indeed. <laughs> be me doing editing. <laughs> no. Uh, we're gonna be working in Premiere today and for the rest of the week, showing off some wonderful stuff, some new stuff. So new that I believe it just dropped in the public release uh, today. So if you update Premiere, if you see an update today, you'll be enjoying the new features. We're gonna to be touching text-based editing in Premiere. So that's what all this week's challenges are kind of around, making use of these new text-based tools to edit a transcript and have the sequence that goes with that transcript change corresponding to those edits you make textually. So that's what we're gonna be working on today. It's gonna to be a wild scene. So. <laughs> Good to see everyone hanging out in the chat. Umicorn, hello. George, Frank, <laughs> Khalid, hello. Sam, Gareth, what's going on, everybody? And we do have starter files for you. So those are available in the description. And you'll get to enjoy an interview between myself and <laughs> Andrew Hawkrattle, uh, where I interviewed him about his Southwest Airlines project. Uh, it's about 16 minutes of that. So if you want to get your hands on those files, start into it there. You can start experimenting around with how this new system works. So what we're doing today is gonna to be quite simple. We're just gonna cut down this interview. We're gonna take a little chunk out of it. We're gonna remix it around a little bit and we'll see uh, getting comfortable with the tools. Let's have a look at what we're making, all right? So here we are. We're in the Adobe Premiere interface. Now, if yours doesn't look like mine, if your transcript panel does not have all the same buttons, I will just say this. What you must do is you want to open up your <laughs> your Creative Cloud space, and you want to update Premiere. Now, this stuff gets rolled out a little bit gradually, so you might not see the update coming to you right away. Some of you may have already seen it this morning. Uh, it's all time delayed, I think based on geography in some way. Uh, I don't know how any of that works, but you may need to update. But these features you will find all in the Premiere Pro beta. So if you ever wanna get, get your hands on the beta apps, come on down the little beaker down here and grab yourself the various beta apps so you can play around with what is super new. <laughs> stuff so new it's not even for public consumption yet. But once you're in there, we're gonna be going to window and we're gonna make sure that we have the text window open. And that'll be this buddy right here. So that's what we're gonna be working with. And I'm just gonna play through the little interview that I've cut down already so you can enjoy. This is like a minute 45, so we'll go pretty quick. I am a brand identity designer, uh, but outside of that, in a larger picture, I help people understand and experience things in new ways. Uh, that's really what I love. I'm gonna pause here so you can see that as he's talking, you can see our cursor is going through the transcript and it's highlighting the different parts that he is saying. To do is provide new and interesting perspectives on things that may be familiar. Uh, and so doing stuff like the work that I'm doing for Southwest. Now, here's where things get a little bit spicy. We're gonna switch and back and forth between and people speaking. what things look like through a different set of eyes. Well, we must destroy Ooh, there's me. to create again, so that's my I name. suppose. Absolutely. There's Andrew again. So and there's me again. This lamp. So this is what's gonna be going on and we're gonna be alternating back and forth, but looking at the finished product, doesn't particularly tell us how we get there. Now, usually we would have to scrub through and select things and move them over, but instead we're gonna be doing it all through the transcript. So that's what we're gonna be, that's what we're gonna be doing. Now, I think what I wanna do is actually we're gonna go file, new project. I wanna start this whole thing over from scratch. I wanna start it from, from total scratch. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna close down these other timelines so that we don't have to look at them. And I'll go ahead and import my media to start us off. I wanna start us off fresh because that's the way it's gonna look for you. So we're gonna bring these in. I'll show you what clips we are working with. So I double click on this. We have an interview. We've got Andrew single. We've got me single. And then we've got this clip here that is both of them side by side. Now these were all taken uh, using a service called Riverside. They don't pay us to talk about them, uh, but Riverside is just a way of interviewing people and making sure that you get the distinct video and audio tracks. I believe Zoom can do this as well. There are many, many softwares and platforms where you can get guests to call in and you'll extract video and, and audio from them. But from this, here's what we wanna do. We wanna open up our clip we wanna come over to the text tab and we wanna say transcribe. I want this to transcribe. 
language English. English UK for me. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm Canadian, but it'll be similar like that. You see, there are many languages, but we want to say English. Yes, please separate the speakers. There are two of us speaking. And I'm just going to say transcribe. Now, I'm told this now happens locally on our machine. So this does not necessarily require connection to cloud services, I don't believe. Um, don't quote me on that, but this is what I think I remember in a press release. Um, but you can see, yes, transcribing on device, a few seconds remaining. So it's going through, it's listening. If there is, for example, a lot of music or background noise, it's a lot harder to parse out what language is happening in those segments, but it's doing its best to transcribe all of the stuff. Now, of course, multiple speakers, having many speakers will make this go a little bit slower, right? And those types of things right, will contribute to how kind of difficult it is for this to work and the effectiveness of it. So let's not expect it to be 100% right out of the box. This has obviously been in development for a while. They have a <laughs> there are top, top people working on it, but it will mess up sometimes. Um, what else do I want to say about this transcribing process? If you're familiar with auto transcription already, right, you would have already seen this type of thing, which we can then turn into transcripts and then turn into captions. So all of that process, we've already done that before, right? This is, this is nothing new to us. What is new is what we do with it next. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So it's coming up. So there we go. We've got our speakers we'll go through. You see, it's already made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a couple of things. When I speak very quickly, it is hard for things to uh, pick up what's going on. But you can come into your speakers and you might want to edit your speaker list. This one is me. This one is Andrew. I will do that. Hit save. You see they all update like so. So big thumbs up to us there. Now, because we've transcribed this, this clip here, if we were to take that interview with both and we drop it into, say, uh, a new sequence like this, you can see that we are now enjoying this scrubbing to a new playhead whenever we go <laughs> like this. <laughs> yeah, Umacorn Chavez, question mark, indeed. You know, I should have asked. I don't think I... That is, I should have asked, all compressed into one word. Anyway, so when you drag this out on the timeline, you can see that, indeed, this does update like so. But the thing that we want to do is let's say we grab our interview both it's up here in the source monitor, right? And I'm like, hmm, I want to come down here and say, let's grab this excellent question that I that I said. I brought this excellent question to Andrew, so I'm going to go there, and then I'm going to say insert. And if you see down here in our sequence that we have open, it is now inserted. You turned this lens onto, as we said, Southwest Airlines, right down onto the timeline like this. So that is one great way to work with this stuff, that it brings it from that space down into this other space. So that's one way we can we can deal with things um, here. Another way is by selecting, let's say for example, this is uh, Andrew saying hello to my dog. It was barking in the back of the, uh, the interview, so watch out for that. But let's say these sentences, I don't want them. I want you to pay close attention down here on the timeline. You can see down here, here in the sequence, it is set in and out points automatically down there. That's because we have set in and out points set up here. I'm gonna hit the backspace, kaboom. Ripple deleted that out of our lives. Stitched it right back together. What are you doing? Yeah, also so to prevent my dog from barking. So if I wanted to remove all of that prevent my dog from barking stuff, I could just, oh, hey, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna select, I'm gonna drag over that. We're gonna drag over this. Boom, delete that. Just like this. So <laughs> Sherbert making a surprise appearance here on, uh, on the program. So that's a way that we can modify what's happening out here in the sequence, and we modify it the same way. We just delete things from the transcript, and you can see that it's impacting the two of them. Now, one challenge that we do have with this, what I need to do here is we've got an interview of just me, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that transcribing. Yeah, get to it, and we're gonna have this interview with Andrew. We're just gonna say transcribe that. So even though these three things, these are three clips, soloed me, soloed him, and then both together, I still need to transcribe all three of them. And if you look up here in the corner, you see this little progress wheel. I hope that's telling you, hey, I'm doing all these processes. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm working on it. And it's going to go through and, and make all that stuff happen. One area where things can get confused with this are areas like crosstalk or if there are multiple uh, tracks of audio going on. So 
still some some things to be worked out with that, uh, especially when things start to overlap each other. And what I want to do eventually with this is, as you saw in the the original uh, the example, I want to cut back and forth between the two of us asking and answering questions. I don't want to work on this side by side, so that's what I want to get to. I want to get us into that mode. So hold on, of Ooh, you can see the circle is closing up here at the top. It's going to be good to go in just a moment. Um, okay, I think they're all done now. Great. So the first thing I want to do, let's let's go ahead and interview both. We don't need that as a sequence. I'm going to bring out interview of just me talking. Bring that onto the new sequence. I'm going to bring out interview of Andrew. Bring that out. So we've got those two out in the world. But notice, because we have these two tracks out there, we don't actually get to see, I hope you can, you can tell up here, because there are two tracks and the two tracks overlap with each other, we don't get to really experience um, everything that's going on, right? It's all one speaker. So what I actually want to do is I want to bring out both. Oops, hold on. And I'm gonna have to clear the in and out points on that. So we're gonna bring out that thing that is both of us, because that has both of us speaking. And if you wanted to, maybe we're going to right click on this and we're gonna say, down to the bottom, <laughs> where are we here? We need to scale the frame size, there we are. So we've got the two of us down, we've got all the audio, it's in the transcript, right? Then I'm gonna bring down the one of just me, then I'll bring down the one of just Andrew, bring those, mush those together like that. I'm going to select them all and I am going to unlink them so they're not linked to each other. Then I will link them like so. So we're just gonna come in here and link. So they are all mushed together. Now that means from this transcript, we can come through here and say, okay, tell me about the designer. Let's see, I want to get to where he introduces himself. So I am, see where this gets said. Where does this, oh, wait, we think, uh, brand designer. That's what he said. He said he's a brand designer. So if we search for brand, there we go, brand identity designer. Let's start there. So I am going to just put my playhead here at the beginning scrub up a bit, hit backspace and delete, because everything was linked together. We now get that edit point, chop, perspectives on th And we're gonna see, I'm going to just solo this. Perspectives on things that may- You can see, we've we've chopped out that first part quite excellently. Let's extend that a bit and you'll see, whoop, as we extend this, you see all of this starts coming back. So, and also if you come here and you select just hello dog, delete that, kabam, that all goes away. All right. Uh, so I... So there we go, we are trimming it up. We're gonna start here. Uh, so I am a brand identity designer, uh, but outside of that, in a larger picture... I... So maybe I decide, brand identity designer, but outside of that, in a larger picture, um, I'm going to remove the outside of that part. We'll stitch this together quite nicely. We'll just cover it with some B-roll at some point. Designer, uh, I help people understand and experience things in new ways. Uh, that's really what I love to do is provide new and interesting perspectives on things that may be familiar. Uh, and so doing stuff like the work that I'm doing. And so this is all working out pretty well, right? Let's see, spice a little, get a little bit weird, get a little unique. Love when brands just let me uh, destroy the brand guidelines. We must destroy to create again, I suppose. So this is back to me. Let's see. So this is a good interchange here. And I have an excellent question. So you turn this lens to Southwest. So you turned this lens onto, as we said, Southwest Airlines very yes. recently. And so why them? Why Southwest? Why an airline, right? So he says, I travel a ton. Uh, I, tra I travel like a lot, lot. Um, and uh, I've always loved Southwest. So. I remember in the interview, he says, it's all good memories, but he didn't expound on the memories at this moment. He does this later. So what I'm gonna do, 
So I'm going to select a bunch like this. I've always loved Southwest, and I'm going to ripple delete that, right? But I know that he started talking about Hawaii at a certain point. We used to go to Hawaii. This is the part that I wanted. So everything sort of in between those two, I can sort of purge a lot of that out. So if we have a look, I've sort of made these two kind of edit points. And uh, I've always loved Southwest. So we're gonna remove this stuff in the middle. West. We used to go to- And there's the answer to the question. Hawaii. Why does he love Southwest? We used to go to Hawaii, right? So we're able to now mash these two parts together Love very to quickly. That was like their thing. And so like every other summer, they're like, what if we went to Hawaii? Uh, and so we'd always fly Southwest to Hawaii. And so it was always this big deal uh, to, to fly Southwest to be like, oh, it's the... <laughs> so as you can see here, we are, we are getting through, oh, it's a big summer vacation. Uh, so if we want to come through, he talks about... I like a lot of zaniness when it comes, to, this is me. I like a lot of zaniness when it comes to being several thousand feet in the air. Yeah, yeah, gotta keep it spicy. For our little promo piece, that's where we're actually gonna cut it. Cause then I start talking about things from Canada. People don't wanna hear about Canadian airlines. So we're gonna prune that. So already we've got it chopped down pretty nicely between these things. We've really got our, our rough edit together and we're gonna start refining what's inside this, right? This is the space and now we're gonna play in it. Now we've got obviously more clips than we need on the timeline, right? We're not gonna make use of the both. We're not necessarily, uh, we wanna sort of chop it up so that I can space and move things around a little bit in here. So to get us sort of from this expanded view, what I wanna do is come into our linked selection. We're gonna turn that off. And I think what I'm gonna do is we are just gonna remove the one that says both. So I'm gonna clip that part out. We're gonna zoom in, because things are gonna to have to get a little bit more surgical in here. And the ones that are associated with me, I'm just gonna start removing the parts that we don't really need. I'm gonna use the, the blade tool here. So hit C to bring up my little razor blade. I'm gonna start chopping this. So I don't say anything useful here. And then it's sort of back to me for a bit. And we're gonna unsolder that. Try to create again. I well, we must just draw. So there we go. Now we're talking about create again, I suppose. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> now he says absolutely here, but now notice, here's the one thing I want to point out. And that's the reason why we're looking at this view. Because these two things overlap each other, this type of crosstalk, you're not going to see Andrew's responses show up here. If we wanted to get into that, what I have to do is actually take that, that cutter Get in here. Let's trim it down to just where it says absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> and let's trim out whatever I was saying at that point. And then I laugh and I wanna remove that so I seem much more humorless um, when it comes to interviews. But now you can see that we are actually going. Suppose. Absolutely. So, and look at this. I want, I want you to oh, pick a look at this. <laughs> Sorry, I'm stumbling over my words because I'm so excited. I'm gonna select, see this dot, 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 dot. That's silence. Select it, delete it, boom. So you turn this lens. So that is a great thing to be able to like, oh, there's like some ums, different set of eyes. Oh, well, we don't really need that. Kabam, we're gonna delete that out. A Solid set of eyes. Well, we must just, now we are going to start removing. So for example, we're gonna come back to me here. Well, we must destroy to create again, I suppose. And we wanna make sure that we can come back to Andrew real quick for his react. Absolutely. Now we're gonna come back to me because I'm gonna be talking again in this so part. You turned this lens very yes. recently. Now his yes there doesn't doesn't help us out with, with any of the interview. Why them? Why? So you turned this lens. And we're gonna do another chop here, right? So actually we just wanna boop boop like that. We don't need to see Andrew On to hanging out while I'm talking. Airlines. And we're eventually gonna go through, we're gonna chop it down like this. I wanna narrow in, I wanna narrow in a little bit because this is all, look, this is all challenge stuff. We're gonna send you a way to chop down the, the Evan Andrew experience interview here using your own powers and then send it up to our Discord and that's what we wanna need. So you turned this lens onto, as we said, Southwest Airlines very recently. So there's this pause, right? I wanna 
trim up this pause. Why them? Why Southwest? Why an airline? Do you travel a lot? What's going on? I travel a ton. Uh, I, tra I travel like a lot, lot. Perfect. Um, That's and uh, I've always loved Southwest. We use and then we're not going to need me until the end. So we're going to go ahead, zoom into the ending here. You can see the changeover is happening. There's going to be some crosstalk here towards the end. Chop, chop. Don't need me in that part. We are we're getting to a rough cut pretty quickly here. So here's all the Evan parts. We're not gonna need that. We don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Let's come back into the end there. And zany, but always like a good time. I like a lot of zaniness, so when it comes to being uh, several thousand feet above the earth, that, that brings me. Yeah, 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 gotta keep it spicy. So there we go. Perfect. We've got our we've got our back and forth there. <laughs> Mike's saying you keep a lot more of the ums and ahs in there. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, look, if you're going for a more naturalistic vibe, that is totally, totally everyone's prerogative. Keep what you can keep. Keep what feels right. As I say, I sometimes... Uh, we used to go to... Uh, I remove a lot of the times when I'm laughing in response to things. I laugh when I'm nervous. Uh, it doesn't do well to have an interviewer chuckling it up at people's answers. Um, and, uh, you know, oh, I like to make myself seem more serious Hawaii. on air. My parents loved going to Hawaii. That was like their thing. And so like... Every so we might remove... Let's see, what can we what can we trim from this to make it tighter, right? We're looking for, for areas of tightness that we can get. So let's see. I travel a ton. Uh, I tra we can take that I um out, like I think it actually lot. helps. Um, and this one, a lot, lot. Um, which was not flagged. Um, and uh, I've always loved. So travel a lot. Well, like a lot. Uh, I've always loved. So you see, we get this kind of like mm, meh, kind of a thing that can happen there, right? So we may need to actually come in here, do a little surgery, a little tree surgery on this. Like, like a lot. Extend this by a bit, smush them together like that, right? So we're gonna need to kind of. West, we used to go to uh, Hawaii. There My parents go. loved going to. Oh, big, big summer vacation. Um, trying to see if there's anything else that I would take out, anything I would remove content wise. Now, there are of course some jump cuts, there's some bouncing around in the final version of the project. Let me show you here how this cut down eventually came together. I made quite a lot more cuts. West. We used and to go... the idea of, I have to cover it with something, right? Cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna see people jumping around. It also makes it seem like I really heavily edited <laughs> this stuff into saying things, into making Andrew say things he might not have otherwise have said. So Plus we like preserve the illusion like... by covering it with some B-roll. We got just a black color mat and then some photos uh, scrubbed from the internets uh, from various Southwest publications. So we can get those out there. Uh, so it's a good way to kind of cover things up when we're doing that, when we're coming into the jump cut. You said Southwest Airlines. Why them? Why <laughs> Motorcycle Southwest? Nearest. Why an airline? Do you travel? Now, the other thing that I want to point out when you're mashing a lot of stuff together down here on your timeline is you probably need to flow into them. The very least, you want a little bit of, of an audio fade between them. Now I'm using this constant power uh, type deal. Now a great way to do that is to actually hit the A key, select everything, and we're going to go, uh, <laughs> what is it? I think it's Command Shift D is the one that'll, that'll drop on your, your sort of favorited uh, transition in here. So if we come into audio transitions, there we go. you can see constant power uh, has been selected there. It's got a little blue thing around it. That'll be deployed when you use your keyboard shortcut. Similar to if you did this to video, Command D, we're gonna be applying the, the default video effect. Now I can never remember, I'll never, I never remember it correctly. <laughs> so I'm gonna come into preferences. Um, and I believe it's gonna be, there we go. Preferences timeline. And I've got my audio transition default duration down to about two frames. It's a very slim kind of patch over a lot of these things. It's usually all that you need. I think the default is quite a lot higher. 
Um, so I always bring that down just so that I can quickly fade in and fade out and kind of bridge between these really chopped up interviews. Now, this is only part one of our using the textual editing powers that are now at your disposal. I hope you download the source files. I hope you play around with it. I hope you enjoy it. We are gonna be doing something a little bit less mm, serious tomorrow with this. We are gonna be making a supercut out of this. You saw in here that we could search for a word and we could pull that word out. We could search for a phrase. That'll take us to the timeline. We are going to tomorrow be using this to create a supercut of all the times that Andrew said Southwest during the interview, all the times I said it, I counted, it's about 20, <laughs> and it produces some interesting results. Now, this is gonna help you to make all kinds of creative supercuts, and I hope it's going to give you some interesting ideas about how we can work with the textual editor, editing from transcript, but that's coming up tomorrow. So I hope that you come back and join us for that. And I really hope that you edit stuff and you share it with us on the Discord. So link to the Discord in the descriptions all around you and uh, you can uh, enjoy those things, but yes. <laughs> Mute all the deep breaths, mess up all the stuff, delete all our ums and ahs, make us look very excellent. Uh, and I hope that I will see you tomorrow and for the rest of the week making more of these challenges. So bye for now and I'll see you then.